And with that, I really want to introduce Joe Rohr because I know he's got a lot of content to pack into this 30 minutes. So grab your coffee because here we go. Okay, thank you, Rich. Um, good morning, everyone. Um, I'd like to start out first by discussing the, uh, the goals of these Friday sessions. Um, our goal for the Friday sessions is to dive into one business issue and quickly demonstrate how Autotask addresses it. Uh, they'll be fast-paced, about 30 minutes. Uh, there is a recording available for later review. Questions will be answered at the end of the 30 minutes if you want to stay on, and uh, we're going to be focusing a lot on demonstrating of the product, but we do have a, a few intro slides. So uh, in terms of our session agenda in today's session, we're going to start out by discussing uh, today's business issue along with the five benefits of surveys. Uh, next, we'll have a brief discussion of where you start when you're uh, looking to tackle um, uh, building out your first survey. And then we're really going to just jump right into product demonstration, going into survey setup along with how it's integrated into our uh, service tickets. We'll go into workflow automation, both the uh, sending out of uh, surveys and uh, of alerts coming back into Autotask. And then finally, reporting, scoring, and benchmarking. Uh, uh, to wrap up the today's session, we'll give you some client feedback and talk about return on investment. So the business problem that we're going to be diving in today is client retention. And the, the question really we have is, have you ever lost a client that you didn't know was at risk until they canceled, or it was too, actually too late to save them? So today's session is going to be talking about how you can be alerted to problems early on before things really blow up and uh, how an, a, a solution like Autotask can help through the use of an integrated survey capability. So why are surveys important? Uh, regularly uh, monitoring customer satisfaction levels and reacting accordingly will help elevate client loyalty and maximize uh, retention. So really, here's probably uh, additionally five important benefits of using customer surveys. First. Uh, you're demonstrating um, your commitment uh, to the customer. So um, even if your customers or prospects have never responded to a survey, simply asking them their opinion wins you points and earns their respect. Next, you know, surveys give unhappy customers an effective outlet for venting any negative and positive feelings that they, they have. And you get that key data to actually help correct a bad situation or recognize something that's good. Third, by linking your surveys to individual activities and collecting some data over time, you get a solid insight into your performance of staff who are inter interacting with either clients or prospects. And number four, um, a customer satisfaction survey can give you a more complete picture of overall your service delivery, uh, not just specific issues that require a fast response or to a specific problem. And this is really a critical component uh, for uh, a continual service improvement process. And then the fifth thing is really um, looking at um, how to uh, deploy your resources. So surveys can help you pinpoint what's most important um, uh, issues that, you, uh, that your customers have as opposed to those things that um, you actually have in terms of, of, of what you see for your, for your staff and your employees. So where do we start out? Um, uh, you first need to identify the business goals that you want your program to meet. So if you invest a little bit of time up front, you can create what is really kind of a standardized system for routinely gathering and assessing feedback from your customers. So you really have to think about what it is that you need to know in order to react to any kind of negative issue and also to continually uh, improve. So some of the things that we have here is how do your clients feel about your company or a service or a specific resource? Or maybe you want to focus in on how easy it was for them to contact you. Or maybe you're trying to get some information about either the first response or a resolution time. You know, were they happy with the overall solution? So really figure out what it is that you want to measure over time, or maybe even identify what are some of the, the issues that you think that you may have right now that you want to gather feedback on. And although you have a standardized system, you may also want to tailor your surveys um, and send a, a slightly different survey based on maybe the delivery method. Did a person go on site versus was it all via help desk uh, over the phone? 
Uh, so maybe have a, a, a vary the question, have a base core of questions, but vary the question uh, with an additional question that may be focused for on-site time. Or you may even want to look at uh, varying surveys based on issue type. But in the start, one of the things you want to start out with is kind of a common survey that maybe you want to um, use for, for everyone uh, at the get-go. Um, just kind of a layout, what you'll see now that I'm going to go over into the demo, is that we're going to be designing a survey. Uh, the survey is both an email uh, notification that goes out to the client, but also a survey with a series of questions. And that survey format will have a custom header at the top that you'll be able to create. It will have a series of, of, uh, of questions. They may be multiple choice questions. They may be ratings from one to five, which are really kind of the quantifiable kind of elements that you can, you can deal with effectively in terms of scoring. You can actually have open ended text questions for them to provide some um, additional feedback. And then you have a custom footer. So um, with that, I'm going to share my desktop. And we're going to go over into uh, the product. And one of the things that you'll see here is that I've actually come into the admin section. So really we want to go into the setup section. Um, and uh, there is a survey section which allows you to both set up the surveys with a series of questions and also the email message that goes out asking them to fill out their question. And we're going to start out with creating a new survey. And when you create a new survey, one of the things you're going to be prompted for is the name of a survey. I'll just call it coffee and a display name. Um, and on the screen, one of the things you'll see is that you have the, the capability of filling in an email message. And an email message is what's going out to, to your user for them to fill in the information. So I'm just going to click and say I want to create a new message. And maybe this is a, a uh, coffee email. Um, and you have a subject line and you have a body of the email message. Now, one of the things that I've done here is uh, in terms of an email invite, and I'm just going to copy and paste in to show you how um, how you would work with the editor, but one of the things that you can simply do is fill out in the body of a form what you actually want to fill in. And one of the keys for the email message is that you can also include, since this is associated typically with a service ticket, information directly from the ticket. So one of the things that you'll see here is that I've put in kind of some header information. Suppo supposedly this is, you know, superior IT uh, support services, and I can put in information like the contact name, uh, the contact's last name, and kind of um, a, a series of information about the ticket along with a survey link. Um, so this allows you to kind of get a view for what it is in the subject line. I might say, you know, your your ticket. And if I went over here to the variables, I could choose kind of maybe the ticket number. So basically take, choose the ticket number. And one of the things you'll see is that wherever I happen to be, it'll actually fill in those fields. So again, all of the ticket, all of the account, all of the resource information are available, and it will just be populated from the ticket. Um, was closed. Um, uh, please let us know how we did. Um, and then and this is going to be the, the, the message that will come in. Some of the characteristics of it, and I'll go through, is that, you know, basically personalizing it, um, thanking them, providing them with information about the fact that you recently closed the ticket with the information about the ticket, maybe the ticket number, a ticket description, asking them for their feedback, the link to the survey that we're going to create. So basically a link that will go off the survey. Um, sometimes even in the surveys we do, we provide kind of um, basically an incentive that they may want to have in order to fill out a survey. Um, and uh, optionally, maybe just a, even your email address of your service manager if they wanted to contact them directly. So some of the, some of the ideas that, uh, um, that uh, you may want to use in terms of filling out uh, that survey. So basically, that is the email message. I've actually um, went forward a little bit and actually fo formatted a little bit more of the email message, and I'm going to choose that one. Basically put in some color and do, did some centering that's all, all available in the email. The next that you want to deal with is going in and actually building out a series of questions. And one of the things that we've provided, and I would highly recommend,